Aztec Empire, the daily life. Life for the typical, typical person living in the Aztec Empire was hard work. As in many ancient societies, the rich were able to live luxurious lives, but the common people had to work hard. So this is just saying, just like today, in the Aztec Empire, rich people, they had all the nice things, um, and common people, they had to work really, really hard. Family life. The family structure was important to the Aztecs. The husband generally worked on a job outside of the home as a farmer, warrior, or craftsman. The wife worked at home cooking food for the family and weaving cloth for the family's clothes. Kids attended schools or worked to help out around the house. All right, so family was important. The husband was the provider. Um, he went outside and worked. He could be a farmer. He could be a warrior, which is um, kind of like a soldier. Or he could be a craftsman, which means he made something. Um, and the wife, she made the food and made the clothes. What type of homes did they live in? Wealthy people lived in homes made of stone or sun-dried brick. The king of the Aztecs lived in a large palace with many rooms and gardens. All of the wealthy had, separate, had a separate bathing room that was similar to a sauna or steam room. Bathing was an important part of the Aztec daily life. Okay, so the wealthy people, they had nice houses. They were made of stone and brick, okay? And of course, the king of the Aztecs, he lived in a palace. Um, all the wealthy people, they had separate bathing rooms, which means they had separate bathrooms, which wasn't always common in society. Not everyone would have a separate bathroom, but the wealthy people did. Um, it's good to know that bathing was an important part of their life. It's an important part of our life. Um, I enjoy bathing every day. I hope you guys do. Poor people lived in, sim in smaller one- or two-room huts that had a thatched roofs made from the palm leaves. They had gardens near their homes where they would grow vegetables and flowers. Inside the house, there were four main areas. One area where was the family would sleep, generally on mats on the floor. Other areas included a cooking area, an eating area, and a place for shrines to the gods. All right, so if you were poor or a common person, you lived in a hut, you're, uh, you were not made of stone or brick, and um, you were made of like straw and palm leaves. So um, you had gardens where you would grow your vegetables and your flowers, and then your house had four rooms, a room to sleep on, but you didn't have luxurious beds. You had like mats on the floor, and then you had somewhere to cook, eat, and a place for shrines to the gods, which is a place where you would go to pray. Why did the Aztec, what did the Aztecs wear for clothes? The Aztec men wore loincloths and long capes. The woman, women wore long skirts and blouses. Poor people generally wove their own cloth and made their own clothing. It was the responsibility of the wife to make the clothes. Okay, so the women had long skirts and blouses. They were pretty covered. The men had a loincloth and a cape. Okay, you can look at the pictures here. Uh, there were rules in Aztec society regarding clothing. These included detailed laws, specifically that clothing, decorations, and color different and color different classes of people could wear. For example, only nobles could wear clothing decorated with feathers, and only the emperor could wear a turquoise-colored cloak. Okay, so a cloak is kind of like a coat. So the emperor would have a turquoise one. No one else could have one. That way everyone knew he was the emperor. Nobles or the upper class, they could wear feathers on their clothing, but no one else could. What did they eat? The main staple of the Aztec diet was maize, similar to corn. They ground it into flour to make tortillas. Other important staples were beans and squash. Besides these three main staples, the Aztecs ate a variety of foods, including insects, fish, honey, dogs, and snakes. Perhaps the most valued food was the cocoa bean, which was used to make chocolate. Right. So the Aztecs ate a lot of corn. They made the flour tortillas, uh, beans, squash, but they also ate insects, fish, honey dogs, and snakes. Ugh, please don't feed me a dog. Okay. They also used the cocoa bean, which was used to make chocolate. It's still what we use to make chocolate today. That's where we get our purest dark chocolate from. Did they go to school? All Aztec children were, were required by law to attend school. This even included slaves and girls, which was unique for this time in history. When they were young, children were taught by their parents, but when they reached their teens, they attended school. All right, so basically, kids, when they were young, they were homeschooled, and then once they became teenagers, they went to school. Boys and girls went to separate schools. Girls learned about religion, including ritual songs and dancing. They also learned how to cook and make clothing. Boys usually learned how to farm, 
or learned a craft such as pottery or feather work. They also learned about religion and how to fight as warriors. All right, so it wasn't unisex schools like we have today in our public school system. Um, they were separate schools for boys and girls. And you look at our Catholic high schools, most of them are separate for boys and girls. So, and they learned different things. Girls, they learned about religion and dancing and how to cook and make clothes, which were the woman's duties of the household. Boys, they learned how to farm and how to do a craft and how to be a warrior, which were their duties as the head of a household. Aztec children were instructed early in life about manners and correct behavior. It was important to the Aztecs. It was important to the Aztecs that children did not complain, did not make fun of the older sick, and did not interrupt. Punishment for breaking the rules were severe. All right. So the Aztec children had good manners. Um, they didn't complain. They didn't make fun of people, and they did not interrupt when other people were speaking. Marriage. Most Aztec men got married around the age of 20. They typically did not choose their wives. Weddings were arranged by matchmakers. Once the matchmaker chose two people to be married, the families would both need to agree. All right, so the average age to get married was 20. I mean, and some people get married at 20 today. It's a little young. Um, but what's different is, is that men didn't choose their wives. They were set up by what was called a matchmaker, okay? The families had to agree on it, but the matchmaker chose the two people and then they got married. Games. The Aztecs enjoyed playing games. One of the most popular games was a board, a board game called Patoli. Just like many board games today, players would move their pieces around a board by rolling dice. Another popular game was Yula Matalzi. This was a ball game played with a rubber ball on a court. Players had to pass the ball around using their hips, shoulders, heads, and knees. Some historians believe the game was used in preparation for war. Interesting fact about daily Aztec daily life. All right, guys, the elderly members of the family were well taken care of and respected in Aztec society. The punishment for breaking a law regarding clothing was often death. Wow, the word chocolate comes from the Aztec word chocolate. The name for the ball game, Yulamot, Oh, you guys, that word is killing me. Comes from the Aztec word yuli, which means rubber. The sons of nobles went to a separate school where they learned advanced subjects such as law, writing, and engineering. The students at these schools were actually treated rougher than at the commoner schools, and slaves were, were generally treated well and could buy their way out of slavery. Okay.